Please subscribe my channel. For more videos press the bell icon, button and share with your friends. If you are looking for a quality knife for your next hunting trip or you just want a reliable EDC knife, we've got you covered. Over the years their lineup has expanded to include everything from some of the world's best regarded EDC knives for people who just want a trustworthy tool to shove in their pocket all the way to automatic and out the front knives that see duty in some of the harshest areas in the world in the military daily. While that large selection to choose from is great, it makes nearly impossible to pick just one when there are so many amazing options. The process of picking the perfect knife is an incredibly personal experience that changes, sometimes vastly, from person to person. To help you out, we put together a comprehensive list of the best benchmade knives on the market. If you're a knife enthusiast like many of us here, you likely already appreciate Benchmade's outstanding craftsmanship and customer service. Being one of the largest and most successful knife manufacturers in the world, Benchmade has a wide selection of knives across multiple categories. Today we're going to talk about the updated fixed Adamus family. We updated the colorways and the materials and a little bit of the styling. A truly new feel to a classic family. This product is going to continue to appeal to military. Very thin, lightweight knife that can easily be strapped to their gear. We find a lot of people, even in the backpacking community, like this knife because it can be thrown in their kit. It's not very heavy, but it's very durable. We've always had the traditional black version. Uh, now we're using this cobalt black Cerakote. The new colorway is the new flat earth Cerakote and a ranger green sheath. This also will come with OD paracord for wraps. We dropped the tech block and we're adding fight light malice clips. This will allow it to be strapped to any molly gear or belt carry. We dropped the serrations off the spine. This allows us to kind of slim out the design and gives us an overall more general purpose use for it. So anyone that needs something very durable but lightweight, uh, this knife will appeal to. Today we're gonna to talk about a new OTF, the 4850 Ohm. It gives a very non-threatening look that can be carried just about anywhere and you get all the convenience of an OTF. We wanted to see how far we could push the envelope on the size. The 4850-1 is the satin blue steel finish uh, aluminum. The standard 4850 will be a more of a traditional sandblasted and black anodized handle. Come with an S30V blade and the blade will, all of the knives will feature a deep carry reversible pocket clip and have a clip point blade. The primary feature to this that really sets it apart is its size. It's fun to just play with. It's a perfect size for almost any utility use you would need it for. Today we're going to talk about a new line extension on our Presidio family. The Presidio has been an iconic part of our line here for a number of years now. So we wanted to do a halo version, basically an upgrade. We changed the anodized to the burnt bronze finish and changed the Cerakote color to tungsten gray. We also upgraded the blade steel to CPM M4, which is our pinnacle tool steels for edge retention as well as exceptional toughness. This knife will really appeal to anyone in the military that carries a full-size auto for utility purposes in the field. The colorways go well with their uniform. The uh, burnt bronze and the gray, it's a low contrast against their environment as opposed to just jet black. The ergonomics of the Presidio are one of the best features of the knife. Fits really good in ice pick grip, traditional saber grip or hammer grip. It's one of the things that makes it a great tactical utility folder. It's a unique colorway in this family and the people that have grown to collect our autos are naturally going to be drawn to this. Today we're going to talk about a new addition to our SOC P family, the 177BK. Sock P has been a very popular product line, especially in law enforcement military. One of the restrictions though is the majority of our daggers are double-edged. So we wanted to have an option for civilian carry that is less restrictive. 
The great thing about the mini dagger, we have this comfort pad, so it works really good for inside the waistband carry. You can wear it with jogging gear, so it's a good self-defense option for civilians. Also, we've made modifications to the clip and added a little J-hook. That'll allow it to lock into, say, a Molly system. If you're wearing it with the clip over the belt or even in the inside of the waistband, it locks into the fabric so it won't pull the sheath out when you deploy the dagger. The sheath is a plastic injection molded design that allows it to be extremely form-fitting and slim. In a stressful situation where this may need to be deployed, it's a great tool. Today we're going to take you guys through a new offering in the Bug Out family. The original intent of the Bug Out family was designed for ultra lightweight backpacking. For this year, we wanted to introduce some new materials and think more about the premium EDC consumer. So for this year in the 535-3, you're going to see the carbon fiber handle. This is brand new for the Bug Out as well as adding a backspacer that has an exposed lanyard hole. And then when you move up to the blade, we wanted to introduce a premium blade seal here. So the traditional bug out comes with an S30V. This new version of the 535-3 comes with s 90 v When we go into the 535BK-4, you'll notice that there's a milled CNC texture that radiates from the pivot line. It really just, just catches your eye directly to that pivot. Huge addition to this family is M390. Focusing on premium materials and more geared towards the EDC consumer and it's just great in the hand, it's super comfortable, and it has a great weight to it as well. Overall, we're excited to add these new premium variants to the Bug Out family. Today, we're gonna to talk about an exciting new automatic for us, the 9070 Claymore. This is really a evolution of Benchmade's push button autos. With the challenge that we gave the design engineering, create a full frame, full size push button auto, cut as much weight out of it as possible without compromising strength. So they took it to the next level and sought to make it the strongest push button auto in their product line. The Claymore is introducing CPM D2. The CPM process creates such a fine carbide structure, it increases the toughness of the knife. A lot of design elements went in this handle. A lot of times ribbing is put on the inside of the handle. We wanted to extend that to the outside of the handle, give it that kind of a ribbed look. We have this ball bearing style of texture in these windows, as well as nice grip features. It's very comfortable in all grip positions, no matter how you grab it. Also the oversized release button, we added some knurling to that. And in the safety, there's a little red indicator for when the safety is off. We also added this forward texture. It's based off the of Morse code. If you're in this pinch grip, it gives you a little bit of sure of a feel. Embedded USMFG, because this whole knife is 100% made in USA, right in our factory in Oregon. We've added a lot of styling details as well as mechanical details to make this the next generation push button auto for Benchmade. We're gonna talk about the Adamas family of folders. The Adamas family of knives designed by Shane Seibert has been very popular for Benchmades and they've gained a reputation of being tanks. Just indestructible, hard use folders. And so we wanted to stay true to the original design, but upgrade it both in some styling and in a materials standpoint. There's a lot of popularity in the military with these. They can put it through any abuse and rely on it. In the automatic, we're retaining the desert tan colorway, but we've lightened the blade. We've also added a completely new colorway to the family, and this is an ODG-10 and flat earth Cerakote. This gives us a very earth tone colorway for this family. And then lastly, we've always had a black version, but now we're tungsten gray Cerakote, black G-10. Again, cutting down a little bit on the high contrast jet black. This particular Cerakote has a slight texture to it, so it's a little bit more matte and less reflectivity. Other things that we've done across the entirety of the family is upgrade the blade steel. New this year for the Adamas family, we are introducing CPM crew wear. We've also added a new 
extension. So we've always had the manuals and the autos, and now we've added a mini version of the manual, in the 273. One thing that everybody knows and loves about the Adamas is their large knives. We wanted something that was a little bit more EDC friendly. It's still a full-size knife, fills the hand very well, but isn't quite as big and bulky as the, the full-size knife. The redesigned Adamas family, definitely a great extension on what was a very popular family. Thanks for watching. Product buying link was given in video description.